Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're taking a brief look at Toy Day, busting a few myths about the event and highlighting some of the things you can do to prepare for the event if you want to. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are now just over a week away from the next big event in Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is of course Toy Day. Now just like previous games, Toy Day is the festive event based around gift giving in celebration of Christmas and the holidays. Now thanks to the latest New Horizons update trailer, we know that Jingle will visit on the 24th of December and basically ask us to deliver presents to our fellow residents on his behalf, which is not too dissimilar to how the event played out in previous versions of the game. Unfortunately, Toy Day along with any items unlocked during the event are still time locked based on the real world time and cannot be accessed even by time traveling. Anyway, because of this, a bunch of rumors have surfaced about how the event plays out and suggesting there's a lot of preparation to do between now and then. And a lot of these rumors are in fact false. Of course, from this point forward, we're going to be discussing any preparation for Toy Day in detail. So maybe a bit spoilery for some players. So please just bear that in mind. Anyway, the biggest rumour circulating right now, and something I believe myself until recently, is that villagers and island residents will drop into conversation what kind of gift they'd like to receive on Toy Day, or drop hints when chatting about what kind of item it would be. This is not true. Although this is how the mechanic worked in earlier games such as New Leaf, villagers in New Horizons will not tell you. They simply talk about how excited they are to receive wrapped gifts, nothing more. This will almost certainly receive mixed responses as half of the fun of Toy Day in the past was finding out what villagers wanted, but it was quite challenging. Anyway, I won't go into too much detail right now, but any gifts given to villagers during the actual Toy Day event from Jingle are generated, assigned and chosen automatically. Now moving on for those that don't know, since the beginning of December, new Santa clothing items including Santa's pants, Santa's coat, Santa's hat and Santa's beard are available to purchase from the Able Sisters, although they still appear randomly so if you haven't seen them all yet that's why. Anyway this takes us to the next rumour that is apparently not entirely accurate. It's suggested by many including a bunch of online guides and walkthroughs that you have to dress up as Santa using the Santa clothing items before Jingle will ask you to deliver any gifts, which would mean you'd have to spend a few days in December preparing for the event by buying parts of the outfit each day. Unfortunately, while that would be quite a cool task, it's not true. It seems that it's possible to take part in the Toy Day event whether you're dressed as Santa or not, which is pretty useful for players who don't have time to prepare for the event. Anyway, with these things in mind, it's quite clear that actually no preparation is required to take part in Toy Day whatsoever. As long as you have the update installed on the day Nintendo unlocks it, you'll be able to take part, which is pretty awesome. However, with that said, there are a few optional preparations you can do if you want to. The most obvious is of course, buy some of the Santa gear when you see it, so you can dress up on Toy Day. It's not essential, but it makes the event more fun. Another thing you can do is collect some of the ornament crafting materials and put them to one side, as they'll actually be needed to craft some festive paper for Jingle before the event begins. But again, this is completely optional as decorated cedar trees will still drop ornaments on the day. So there we have it, that's pretty much all the myths busted surrounding Toy Day and that there's no real preparation required. You can simply log on on Toy Day, learn everything you need to then and take part without missing anything. But what do you think about these rumours? Are you glad you don't have the challenge of figuring out what everyone's ideal gifts would be? And do you think it's more fun to dress up as Santa during the event? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as I'm hoping to continue to upload a bunch of new content in the coming weeks. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members, you guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment Santa. Just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include whether or not you found any of Santa's outfit yet. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.